Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is gonna be a bit of a disaster. Since a couple million people now have seen me at my absolute worst, you know, when you've been green bald with no eyebrows, wearing a onesie um, stuffed with stuffing on the internet to look like one of Mariah Elizabeth's characters, you can only really go up from there. Today, I am gonna be transforming myself into Mona Lisa. I, I'm saying that quietly because my boyfriend's out there and I want to surprise him and see if he can guess what I'm actually turning myself into. Oh my god. <laughs> Mona Lisa was painted by none other than the world famous Leonardo DiCaprio. I have seen a couple people do this over the last few years. Someone I actually used to watch a lot on the internet. She used to transform herself into just these amazing characters and I've never seen anyone quite like her before. She actually did this with the Mona Lisa before. I learned a few things from her including something called modeling wax which is something she used to actually elongate her nose because it was the complete different shape. I thought today not only would I try to just sort of like look a bit like the Mona Lisa, I would like really do my best to be as realistic to the painting as I possibly can, which is gonna be difficult because looking at looking at the painting, I don't have the same facial structure as she does. I mean, there's some elements there. So this will be interesting. I'm gonna try my best to use my artistic abilities to make this work, but we'll see. I don't know if this is gonna work, but hey, here we go, this should be fun. First things first, I'm gonna need to remove my eyebrows. Um, and I did learn this from Mariah. I didn't know how to do this, but now I do, I'm a professional, I've done it once. So I did in fact buy a wig. The color is gonna be pretty good. I look like the girl from The Exorcist. But yeah, this is uh, the wig. <laughs> so, starting off, we have our Elmer's school glue. So I did read someone say that you should apply powder between coats. So I'm gonna try that. I feel like it just looks crusty now. Nasty. There is no way that this looks good up close. Like I've seen a lot of special effects artists do this over the years. There is no way that this actually looks good up close. I'm sorry, there is no way. Ew, this is so nasty. Okay, crusty old eyebrows are done. These are far crustier than they were a few weeks ago. I don't know if this concealer that I normally use is gonna be potent enough, but fingers crossed. So yeah, we'll just, cause I have no makeup on my actual face and the Mona Lisa has pretty flawless skin. We'll just like apply it everywhere, I suppose, and just hope for the best. one ginormous forehead. Hey babe! Oh my god. <laughs> the eyebrows are throwing me off. <laughs> are you concealing them or are you changing them in a different color? I shaved them off. Are you still attracted to me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to keep going because I've not done a good enough job with the eyebrows yet. I'm gonna add some synthetic modeling wax to my nose. So basically, my nose is not, it does, the tip doesn't sort of point downwards and her nostrils are kind of more like this whereas my nostrils like my nose goes up which is not convenient when you have a cold or you've got snot up your nose because literally everyone can see it oh this is so look how sticky done I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I'm gonna get to work on the shadow. I wanna make this deeply shadowed, kind of like it is in the painting, because there's a lot of dark shadow. So I did buy some like contour sticks. This is a wonder stick by NYX. I have no idea if any of this makeup is good because I've never used it before. So while I continue to make myself look absolutely ravishing, I wanted to let you know that today's video is kindly sponsored by BetterHelp. Now, even though this video is not overly serious, something that is serious is mental health. And Mental Health Awareness Month is in May, and it's so important that we have this conversation because it affects so many people. I remember in 2020 signing up for BetterHelp because it's basically online therapy. With BetterHelp, you can actually access their network of over 20,000 licensed therapists. 
It's not a crisis line or self-help. It's professional therapy done securely online. They will assess your needs and match you to your own licensed professional therapist. Not only have I used it myself, my friends have also used it. And traditional therapy can just be very expensive or require you to travel or wait weeks or months or might not just even be available in your country. And the thing is, BetterHelp really makes it possible for those who don't have the luxury of traditional therapy. BetterHelp is so much more affordable than traditional therapy, as well as financial aid being available. You can usually communicate in as little as 48 hours and it is available worldwide. You can log in at any time to send a message to your therapist. You can get timely responses and you can also schedule weekly video or phone sessions if you prefer that to just messaging. They are committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change your therapist if you want to. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today, so visit betterhelp.com slash Chloe Rose. That's better H. H-E-L-P and join over 2 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. You deserve to prioritize your mental health this year, so get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Chloe Rose. And thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so she has a bit of shadow up here. So if we go back to this. Wait, it's hard because she's facing. Maybe I should flip the image. Because I'm literally looking at it as it is, but I'm doing it the opposite way. So it might be easier for me to see. She's got a larger forehead than I have. So I'm gonna have to kind of go into my hair a little bit and then curve it. And then there's a bit of shadow there. I'm literally just using these contour sticks as paint at this point. Whereas my jaw is shaped very differently to hers. So her jaw comes in more. So if I kind of contour that to be like this, do I look like her yet? I feel like it's getting there. So it's lighter here, and then it's just very light there. I'm doing that thing with the face that you did in the scara. I didn't bring my eyeshadow brushes, so I'm gonna have to go and get those. I'm actually really enjoying myself. I'm not gonna lie to you, I am actually genuinely enjoying this. Cause I'm basically painting my face, but with makeup. Her nose is pretty straight. My nose is not that straight. My eyes are also a little more rounded than hers are. She has a little shadow under her chin. How's it looking? Because I really can't tell at this point. I'm gonna go get some eyeshadow brushes so I can really do more with my eyes. But yeah, I mean, I feel like if I hadn't told you what I was supposed to be, no one would really know. But I'm really trying to kind of create that paint, like the same type of shadows that he used on her face to really highlight it. Of course, I'm not doing as good a, a good a job, but I'm trying to kind of recreate it on a 3D surface in the mirror the opposite way. So it's not great, but it's fine. Okay, I am back with some eyeshadow brushes. Now I'm gonna really try to create that very dark shadow at the eyes. I'm adding a bit of highlight now in certain spots. Never thought I'd spend my Sunday afternoon doing this, but here we are. <laughs> Accentuating the eyelids. Maybe if I put the wig on, it might help. She has like a weird little like bit like that. Okay, I do not have a clip. Or can I just stick this thing on? I think this is what she did, right? Did she put this on? No. Okay, I'll just use this hat on. Is it more convincing now? <laughs> I mean, maybe. I think my nose is just still not like right, but there's not much I can do about it. I think I need more shadow there. Okay, I'm trying to darken up the shadows here so it looks like it's blending in with the hair a little better. If I pull it back a little bit, you can kind of see my natural hair, which is kind of curled up. 
feel like it's a fine line between what I'm trying to be and an old, like an old, like, witch. <laughs> There's not really an in-between. <laughs> Just trying to elongate the nose again. And then the eyes. Hmm, okay. I think it's time to like do the mouth now. The infamous like half smile thing. Okay, I think that's the best I can do. <laughs> yeah, I think I can add a bit more here. But I think as for the rest of it, I think that's kind of the best I'm going to get. So here is the overall thing. What? <laughs> I'm a famous painting. I think my mouth looks too big because she has a very small mouth and I have a small mouth too, but I think hers is even smaller Obviously imagine I have brown eyes because I don't but imagine I do have the brown contacts I'm raising my eyebrows right now. Not that you can tell because I don't have any. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wait, a little more crown No, nope, a, a little less. A little more crown. No, nope, that, that, that other way. No, but we'll just go down. <laughs> okay, I see it now. I didn't know what I didn't know what to guess off of. I thought I looked like the girl from like is it the Exorcist or the Ring. I, I was gonna that crawls out of the the well. I was going to initially guess the zombie of some kind. <laughs> zombie. Yeah. I think if I turn the lights down and it's not so bright. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can see it now. It I, don't, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna hug me? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to hug me? Not looking like that, no. This is a little unsettling. <laughs> Hello, Loki. You won't even look at me either. <laughs> Oi. Oi. He literally won't look at me. I don't think he likes it. You don't like my face? <laughs> Give me a hug. No. I'm cheating. Oh no, my nose is cracking. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you would rate this out of 10. Um, I, from the mirror, would give it like a solid four out of 10. On camera, further away, it looks more like a six out of 10. Uh, but I'm not gonna really know until I start editing on a bigger screen how bad this actually is. But yeah, this is this is how it looks. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see me try this again soon with a different painting, feel free to let me know. Yes, for now, thank you so much for watching this video. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.